The group is called The Uncomfortable Conversation. On Sunday, November 6th, they partnered with the Phoenix Boston, a South End gym, to launch an event that features a series of videos on the topic of consent in fitness spaces. I had my first conversation about sexual violence when I was 11 when I told my mom that a family member was abusing me. And so in the wake of that, my entire healing journey and walk through the world was really lit up by people who are willing to have uncomfortable conversations. And so this work is a way of giving that back to more people. Pearson says most of the group's 150 YouTube videos aim to make having conversations about sexual violence easier for young men. I don't need to be there. An expert doesn't need to be there. It's like really the point is just get a rep in. A panel of local fitness coaches at the event say sexual assault can take on many forms in the fitness arena, from inappropriate touching to comments about other people's workout clothes. It's important for athletes and coaches to think about power and the the amount of power that they have and like how to wield that sort of on behalf of people that don't have that power. Data from the Center for American Progress shows that between 2005 and 2015, more than 600 workplace sexual harassment claims came from the arts, entertainment, and recreation industry. With BUTV 10, I'm Annie Quinn.